Hello and welcome back to another SMMT review. We have the KGM Torres K40, and basically what it is, is another SUV. But KGM, if you don't know what that is, or who they are, they are the new name for Ssangyong, and obviously they've been making very uninspiring cars, that's why they've changed their name, to make hopefully more inspiring cars. We'll have a look around. Um, essentially what it is, in my opinion, is a Land Rover Discovery mixed between with uh, a Ford Explorer. If you can have a look at the lights at the back, you can see they pretty much are, I mean, it looks like a Ford Explorer at the back. Now it's beeping at me. And the boot's opened on its own. <laughs> I generally didn't press anything there. Let's close that. That's fine, well that'll buff out. Um, if we move on to the interior, which is the, obviously the more important part. God's sake. There we are. Now there seems to be obviously a theme here today with all the cars, obviously everyone's, everything's got a big screen. Everything's got a very fancy looking interior with this like brass sort of finish here. Don't know what that's about. Uh, but it is, it's all right in here. It's quite a bit of room in the front. Obviously the headroom's ideal for me because I'm short um, but obviously for someone taller it's perfect too so I have mentioned the back seats uh, very briefly but I thought I'd show you around a bit more because there are some cool features back here first of all the leg room and headroom is very good back here too um, the car is as, as you know quite big looking um, especially just sitting back in here it does feel really spacious um, some of the features you get in the back here are two USB-C ports here perfect for the children with their iPads um, and you get heated seats in the back as well which is quite uh, unusual. Another feature I like is this which is you know if you already get blinded by the already tinted window you can add a blind to it look look at that it's very cool otherwise more cars don't do that actually um, but yeah the the rear seats are actually quite nice um, made of leather obviously like the front and the quality is pretty good overall. Let's take it for a drive and see what it's like on the road. So the KGM to drive is, uh, well, to be honest, a little bit uninspiring. It's only got a 1.5 litre petrol engine, which produces 163 horsepower roughly. Um, now that's fine if you're on your own in the car, but if you've got like a fully loaded car with loads of luggage, surely that's going to struggle a little bit up the hill and stuff. So. Also, another couple of things I don't like about it is the, uh, the handling is a bit vague. The gearbox is a bit slow. Um, like you know, and he realizes that it's a car once you press the the accelerator after 200 years. Um, but I mean, it's very it's very easy to drive. Like most of the cars we've reviewed today, the steering is very light, but there's not really much feel in it to be honest. One thing that's quite cool on this uh, touchscreen display here is you can change the different backgrounds of the car. So you can have background image one, background image two, or background image three. It's pretty cool. And they're basically just like, there's one with mountains, uh, one with sunset, and a blank one. It's very uh, random. And then you've got illumination, which is you can set the brightness automatically. So you can do a, um, that, or you can do daylight which is what we're in now. Night, which goes all dark, but also is probably the best, to be honest. So another couple of features that I've just discovered on this car is um, it well, not only has heated seats, but it also has air conditioned seats. So right now I've got my bum lovely and cool. Right now I'm just driving down some of the hill routes um, and it's smooth, but it's not very fast around there. I'll be it's not really a sort of B road you know, sort of car. Um, that's full throttle. Yeah, it does. It does really lack the power up the hill. I'll be honest. Um, that was full throttle, and you know, it's it's struggling to get up. And it's just me in the car with the cameraman and a bit of kit. That's it. If it was fully loaded, it would, you know, be a bit of a struggle up there. And I could definitely say this is sort of a, a very good sort of family economical sort of car, you know, that you want to drive to the Alps in, for example. There's plenty of space for the skis in the back. Um, and it's a very comfortable, nice place to be. So to sum up then, the KGM Torres is still quite uninspiring to drive. 
and really lacks any performance when it comes to the more well thought out European rivals. However, the standard features on this car are plentiful and really unique in some places. My favourites were the rear window blinds and the air conditioned seats. Overall, it makes a great living environment, but not a great car. And to top it off, it's also very musical. Thanks for watching Car Culture. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>